What a smart rapper. Ooh, six sneaky ways to make it in the music industry. We're gonna talk about these today. It's a way you can infiltrate, come in sideways, bam, 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 knock it out, get in. Real sneaky like in the music industry. We're gonna talk about that today. Ugh. I'm Rob Level, this is smartrapper.com, and you're about to get smarter right after the intro. Alright, number one, I love this. This is actually what Kanye did, so you're gonna love this tip initially. What? Is you could become a producer, meaning you make beats first. Give beats to rappers on a regular basis to build your network up all along your rapping in the background, building that skill set up. You could be hopping on these beats that you're actually creating for these bigger artists and you can get known like that. I mean, that's, that's what Kanye did. That's how he infiltrated and made his way in. Plus, you can make a lot of money selling beats if you got your business game down. I'm gonna go through these real quick. Let's go to number two. Number two, you could work your way into a job at a radio station. Mm. I'm not saying you have to get paid at the radio station. They love having interns. Interns work for free. You're like, why would I work for free? You're working on music for free right now, aren't you? You ain't getting paid for your music. Why not work at a radio station and build your connections? Get to know every artist that comes in there, shake hands. They're gonna remember you if you work your ass off. I actually just finished the, the Charlemagne the God book, the Black Privilege book, and he talked about how people used to do that and people that he knew that were interns at the radio station who worked their ass off, he now has helped them and they have their own shows and they're on like Shade 45 and, and uh, shows, maybe may not Shade 45, but other like radio shows that he has hooked them up with because they were interns. It's a great way to get into the music industry and build your connections up. Ludacris is a great example of somebody who was a radio DJ. There's a lot of people who started out as DJs, built their connections and moved on into the music industry. Number three, this is a fantastic one and it's a probably a bit easier to do than getting into a radio station as an intern is you get an internship at a local record studio or a local recording studio where people actually are going all the time. Now you may think that you're working for free, but in this circumstance, you're not working for free if you're gaining experience, knowledge, and networks. Again, similar to the radio station thing. Because a lot of artists come in and out of that, stu of, of that studio on a regular basis. You get to see not only their creative process, what you can implement into your creative process to create better. Like imagine that you see like 50 big name artists go into a studio or even smaller artists, and you get to see, oh that's cool. I like how they did that. I'm gonna start doing that. Oh, he did that. That's a good idea, I'ma do that. You know how fast you're gonna grow if you're watching other artists' uh, like creative processes? That is an amazing way for you to grow faster as a rapper and build your networks up. Plus, it's very likely that you can actually start getting paid from that or get a mixing gig in there, start getting paid from that or you know, start selling your beats if you're producing because you're on the inside. Of course, wait till the time is right. Don't just try to start trying to sell beats to people. They don't like that, trust me. But. It's a very, very good way for you to infiltrate into the music business and start getting known as a rapper. Number four, you could go and get an internship at a record label, okay? You work for a record label, even if you do just run and get in the coffee, you may be the dude running and get in the coffee for the next biggest artist out. You could be establishing a relationship with this person. They're gonna love you. You're the person delivering them food and entertainment and whatever they need on a regular basis. You could damn near move from an assistant at a record label to an assistant of a person or being on a rapper's team and then infiltrate your way up into the music industry like that. Record labels have a lot of knowledge in learning music of business Business is essential if you want to be in the music business anyways. So if you can get an internship at a record label, that's a really good way to infiltrate into the music industry. Number five, if you could go ahead and get a job at something like Hip Hop DX, they always are looking for interns. I know that Hip Hop, like not, maybe not Hip Hop DX, but a lot of these publications are always looking for somebody to work for them for free because they love free labor, right? But it's a really good place to gain networks, okay? To really network and gain, meet a lot of rappers and everything like that. Hip Hop DX, Hot New Hip Hop, whatever one is based wherever you're at. And if you're not near any of these things, these record labels or these studios that I'm mentioning, you're living in the wrong place if you want to get in the music industry. You want to be in the music industry, you need to move to LA, you need to be in New York. Atlanta is a, is a very good hub right now. Um, Chicago is solid, but I moved from Chicago to LA in order to be closer to all these things. Everything's out here. So if you can get closer to these places, your chances of actually getting placed and getting an internship is much, much higher. So you should move to a major city if you're serious about it. And anybody who's smart and really wants to take the risk to do that will go ahead and do that. But anyway, working at a publication, imagine you work for, for XXL. You get to meet all the freshmen, right? Get to meet all those people. Now you're in. Now you're in with all these artists. These artists are coming to get interviewed. You're friends with them now because it's a publication. They come in to do interviews to get heard and get seen. If you can get in like this, there's a great way. You work in one of these for a year, year and a half, two years. Your connections are going to be extraordinary, and you can leverage those connections to skyrocket, skyrocket. I don't know why I say it like that. To skyrocket, slingshot your way 
and to the music industry. And number six, and this is actually the fastest way to do it because number six is just like the other five, except for it's a direct way in. And this is building connections on the outside of a person's circle. Like let's say, for example, you wanted to get into Travis Scott's circle. Travis Scott's cousin's little brother runs with the circle. His little brother's really nobody. His cousin's little brother's nobody, but he runs with Travis Scott's circle. You go through all Travis Scott's photos, find his, his cousin, then find his little brother's cousin, do the thing, and you make really good friends with his little cousin. Okay, or you know, with his little cousin's little brother. Now you're cool with him, he's saying all these good things about you to the cousin, the cousin's saying stuff to Travis, he brings you around one time when they have a concert, you're backstage, now you're cool with the cousin, then eventually you get cool with Travis. It takes time to do this, it takes some suave, it takes actually having good people skills, but you can do that. I actually built an entire course on this that has like four, four point, five or 4.6 stars on Udemy. It's a networking course that shows you how to use just Instagram to go in and infiltrate circles of people, catalog them, stay in touch with them, and actually move your way into circles of anybody you wanna infiltrate. And it's like a high, actually a top selling course. I've made a lot of money from that course and it's because it's, it works so well because my process of doing it is fantastic. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link below to that. I think you, you can get it for like, I think it's like 20 bucks or something like that, but if you get it, you're gonna learn really fast. Like, wait a minute, I can use, I can use Instagram to just DM these people and eventually they're gonna bite and build these connections. I mean, I have a whole process like down pat. You can check that out. Again, link's gonna be below. Go look at the reviews on it. I mean, you, you should get your hands on that if you're actually serious about infiltrating the music industry. And in it, I actually have templates that you can literally copy and paste in your DMs to send to people. Like you just simply change it and put their name in there and you just send it to them and you just send it to everybody like in bulk and then you just see who bites and then you just move into the circle. Like it's really that easy. It's, stu it's stupid easy. You just gotta take the effort and just do it and build your way into these circles, okay? Links are gonna be below for that. Check it out. Again, check the reviews. There's a reason that it's rated so highly. Um, I got a music video course coming. Uh, that you can shoot music videos with your iPhone or with your Android phone. I mean, crazy stuff going on. But anyways, y'all know what time it is. I got this right here, man. It's time for word of the day, new words You can say new words for your rhymes and for your wordplay By the time you leave this video You'll be smarter than you was before This is so stupid Today's word of the day is absquatulate. <laughs> it means to leave abruptly For example, I'm about to go to my cousin's birthday And if my aunt pisses me off I want to absquatulate. And that word of the day comes straight from my Instagram, Rob underscore level, 300,000 followers, 300,000, 300,000 followers on there. Go ahead and shoot me a DM if you just want to say hi or something, all right? I typically respond, just give me time. And hit me with a like, hit me with a comment, hit me with your four bars of the day, okay? Which one of these tips did you think was good? You, you like all these tips? I think that uh, they're, 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 people generally don't think like this, so I hope that that helps you guys out and helps you become a smarter rapper, help you get in that music industry, all right? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and when you hit subscribe, hit that little bell, because it's gonna notify you every time I release a new video so you can become a smarter rapper which is every single day plus you get to learn a new word every single day just by watching my videos that alone is a great reason to subscribe and watch every day so you can become smarter okay I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow with another video don't forget all the links are gonna be below for that networking course I may even put a discount code I found I may put a discount code below for it as well so you guys can get that all right go ahead check out these videos and then go ahead and hit the subscribe all right I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow keep hustling I'm gonna see you at the top Click the video.